What's going on everybody? Gunner here. Today I want to introduce to you guys a new hook from A-Rex, the GB Predator Swimbait Hook. Check it out. So the purpose of this hook is to be able to adapt, more or less, any single hook fly recipe to a truly weedless design so that you can basically imitate swim baits from the gear world. Little pad tail swim baits, hook up designs, things like that, fishing big finesse minnows all the way up to 10 inches. This is what the hook was born from. It was born from a need to be able to tie truly big weedless flies and be able to have high hookup ratios. So what I want to do is I want to introduce the hook, kind of go over the wire thicknesses and size so that you're familiar with basically what it's intended purposes for. Um, I want to go over the design features, kind of the shapes, the advantage that this hook has over basically every other hook on the market because almost all the other hooks are borrowed from the gear worm. This is designed for fly tying to meet those needs. And at the end, I just want to touch on um, how I like to rig it. Because the way I like to rig it, it allows me to, to basically tie any single hook fly recipe from bucktail deceivers to this. This is a bulkhead chosen one, right? I have a, a synthetic bulkhead wiggle tail fly. I, can, I don't have to design a fly for this hook. I can basically take any single hook fly design and put it on this hook and make it weedless. And I think that's really cool and very adaptable. So that's what I'm gonna end the, the video with. So let's jump into our wire gauges here. So the hook is produced in a two aught, four aught, and six aught. So we're going predators here. I hope there's a little bit of room to expand, maybe even smaller for European perch, US crappies in the future, but that's where we're starting. We're going bigger, we're going home. <laughs> um, <clears throat> as far as Fishing for big fish. You're talking about trophy pike, musky, uh, light salt water use. This is a black nickel finish. You can fish it in the salt. Um, going down to Brazil, fishing peacock bass, the 4 aught and the 6 aught are going to be perfect. Uh, those are, they're nice, thick gauged wire hooks that are going to be able to take a beating. Um, the 2 aught is a little bit lighter. It's more geared towards smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, walleye. You can even fish it for trout. Really nice wire thickness for its size, but it's definitely not a stout wire that you're gonna take into, say, the musky realm. So if you're familiar, if you have samples at home, uh, the wire gauge, this is the six aught, it runs 1.62 mil, uh, the four aught is 1.42 mil, and the two aught is 1.25 mil, that's millimeters. Um, and so the PR320, the Predator Stinger, it runs about the same. So if you have the two aught four and six aught and the PR320, that's the same wire thickness for this hook series. Um, so now that we got that out of the way, check this thing out. All right, so let's zoom in here. And I wanna talk about what makes this thing so special. So first and foremost, you can actually tie a fly on this. <laughs> I know that might sound silly, but a lot of times your hooks look like that in this similar style, right? You can't tie, I can't even tie lead eyes on that let alone tie a fly. I can fit a whole fly on this sucker, and dress it to the nine, and I have all that room to work with to get it finished. Not only that, but on your big flies, you can do full, full dress bulkheads, Buford heads, hollow flies. You have room to work and design, and it's really special to be able to do that. On top of that, what you're gonna see is this is a massively offset hook point, which means the hook point runs way uh, on a separate plane. It's off. It's set off of the plane of the hook eye. And the reason why that's really important, if you look at a true Texas hook, this is all on the same line. A fish grabs this, it can pull straight out without touching any skin. If a fish grabs this hook, <laughs> he's gonna catch, he's gonna catch that point almost no matter what he does. And something I wanna, I wanna share with you, this is obviously, it's, it's set back pretty far to increase hookup, so it's a nice mid-body hook in the third position or so. It's also a really deep gap. Now with this offset, it's gonna be just about perfect for your bucket mouth species. That's a fish that suction feeds like that. Think of largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, tarpon, snook, anything that has that bucket-shaped mouth. They're gonna come up, inhale, they get the whole thing in there, boom, you stick them with the point, you're hooked up. Now there's also a different feeding style, very common with pike and musky, oftentimes trout too, where they ram. They literally ram and they have kind of a beak shaped mouth. <clears throat> now if you look at this hook here, if you were to ram that and pinch down, it'll simply roll on you. It'll roll just like that. Now because it's still offset, 
you see it's still offset, you can still catch them in the side of the mouth, depending on which way it rolls. Now you can take that and you can make it even more effective for those species. You simply take your hook point, and I already bent this one, but you grab that hook point with pliers, put an offset in it, and if you look at that, it's now offset like an octopus hook. So that fish comes up, <clears throat> he pinches down, boom! And now, if you look at that on the DSLR, that point is going to stick him in the top of the mouth. If he rolls it the other way, you're going to stick him in the bottom of the mouth. So that little octopus offset is just a, a way to increase your hookups if you find yourself missing fish. It's one way to do it. <clears throat> so we, do, we got our shank length. We got our offset. We have this massive deep bend for good hookups. And the one thing I want to address that I think is really special about this hook is kind of these weird angular bends. I think it's maybe it's what catches your eye but it's a little bit unique. And so first off this is just a 90. It's not a z-bend. And what you have to understand about a z-bend is a lot of these hooks this is what I'm talking about that little z. It, it's basically it just applies back pressure to your soft plastics right? It's just a, a stopper so that your plastic doesn't slide down on your shaft. It keeps everything nice and locked in place by applying pressure. We don't need that in fly tying. In fact, it, it can oftentimes impede your tying area. So you get rid of it. You drop down to a straight 90. I have all that room to be able to dress my fly. Now, when you look at a lot of the, the gear lures, <coughs> these are nice, continuous bend hooks. But the problem with a continuous bend is I can't put anything linear on it. And what I want you to picture here is a rattle, because that's what I was using these for. So the coolest thing about this hook, in my opinion, is that I can put a rattle anywhere on this shaft. I can put it right here on the 45, I can put it right here on the flat part. That's why there's two linear sections. And because the rattles are placed on the shaft of the wire, they don't change your fly recipe. So they don't get in the way, you don't have to work around them. If they break, I can actually move the whole recipe out of the way and put in a new rattle. I'm not saying that'd be super efficient, but you could do it. Right? So even if they break, you can just fix them, replace them, use heat shrink tubing, do whatever you got to do. But the rattles go inside the fly. Check that out. It's inside the wire. Because all of my material is stacked on that plane, I can put the rattle inside the wire. It's not catching on vegetation. It's not hitting rocks. Right? There's nothing that can go and break that unless you cast it at a rock or if a fish smashes it super hard, which props to him. But this protects the rattle. It allows you to put it anywhere on the linear sections on the inside of the hook to improve keeling on top of that and casting weight and everything. And it doesn't change your fly's recipe. So that's why you have two linear sections. You can also use them for adding lead wire and doing whatever you got to do to fine tune your flies and get them to balance right or jig or dip or keel, whatever you got to do. But that's their original intent. So that right there is the simple overview for the GB Predator Stinger Hook. Um, I really want to thank A-Rex for making this a possibility. I want to thank Paul Monaghan uh, for his design input because it was absolutely critical to getting the shape and length and gap right on this guy. Um, a really fun hook. And, and what I want to share with you last is the way that I like to tie on it. And I'm not going to do a full demo. I'm going to upload tutorials <clears throat> probably for this extended body bulkhead. That's the 6 on. I'm going to do a bucktail deceiver, that's on the 4 out, which is about a 6 inch fly, and then I think I'm going to do the chosen one, and that's on the 2 out, right there for smallies. So those, that's what you get to look forward to and see a kind of a, a little bit more detailed advanced look at my rigging and how I'm dressing the hook and getting it to do what I want it to do. But uh, what I'll share with you guys is this really cool thing. So all, for all my personal tying, I like to tie extended body work. And, and the really cool thing about it is you don't, <laughs> you don't tie like this. This is just in here as, the, as a demo example. You would put a shank in, tie on the shank, dress the shank, right? You would dress the shank and then you would attach that to your hook and then finish the fly. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify that. That could be confusing if you don't understand my intentions here. Uh, but what's really cool is it keeps all your material in line. And that same tying axis is that hook eye. It's going to help balance out the hooks. It's going to make sure that hook doesn't sag in the rear. It's going to allow you to adapt any single hooked recipe 
whether it's you know bucktail deceivers or the chosen one or bulkheads it doesn't matter anything anything that you find that's a single hook pattern murdix minnows you can now stack it on these two little platforms and have a weedless fly hook point up without any worry about keeling or adding weight or anything you can just adapt it to this hook and fish it in the heaviest cover you can think of and be right as rain so that is the gb predator swim bait hook tie up some swim baits get after it fish some cover with confidence and thanks for watching um, people to check out obviously look for paul monaghan's work with this hook uh, he was extremely helpful in designing it and he's going to be putting out some probably really cool ideas on this guy um, and i hope you'll check out my my tutorials for the rigging because being able to tie a eight inch weedless bulkhead has me so bloody excited <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, I'll catch you in the tutorials. Have a good one.